this video we are going to discuss how to write an informal letter with some basic tips format and a model question with sample answer so first of all let's revise quickly what is the format of a formal letter in our in our examination the basic features are number one is salutation plus date that is you are going to have the greetings dear mary dear uncle or aunt then number on number two we have the body of the letter it comprises five to six paragraphs according to the word limit and then when uh, last uh, portion is closing that we are going to end the letter either we're going to use love with warmest regards or truly yours now let's attempt uh, a question uh, of informal letter read both texts and then answer question number one this is our directed writing uh, task and uh, as we all know the format that is we have two texts we have to go through the text and this text is about the joys of bilingualism the following text written by a parent is about being able to speak more than one language and uh, text uh, text b is also about the the following text is all uh, is about being bilingual so our first step would be to read both texts and then we are going to uh, write an informal letter which of course is based on it but it we are not going to copy and uh, the question is uh, a relative is considering moving to another country where they and their teen teenage children will have to learn a new language write a letter to your relative giving your views about whether or not this is a good idea so as per format in your letter you should the content point number one is evaluate the ideas opinions and attitudes in both texts we are going to underline the points from the text and then we are going to evaluate we are not going to copy them and uh, point number two is explain how successful you think the move will be for the adults and their children base your letter on what you have read in both texts but be careful to use your own words of course these are the uh, general instructions which are always given in your uh, directed writing question that you are not going to copy you have to use your own words so we have to address both of the bullet points as and we know the word limit is 250 to 350 and 15 marks are available for the content of the answer and 25 for the quality of our writing so let's uh, uh, start the question our next step would be to make a rough sketch so first of all we have to uh, uh, write down the greetings salutation so it's uh, it, we are writing letter to relative uncle or aunt then paragraph one would be the introduction that is the we are going to have the opening sentences asking about the well-being then uh, of course now our content points evaluation uh, started uh, paragraph 2 we have to evaluate two uh, points maximum two points or three points not more than two or three so you are going to evaluate which you have underlined the points from both the text about the joys of bilingualism so paragraph 3 would be again the evaluation of you are again it uh, please remember that you are not going to copy word to word you are going you have uh, already uh, highlighted the points, so you are going to evaluate them uh, properly then paragraph four would be the content point number two that uh, how successful this move would be for the parents uh, as uh, according to uh, as per the question and then paragraph five would be concluding lines or the phrases there is a margin that you can either add up uh, another paragraph that is paragraph number six so now the, on this slide you can see some of the phrases which you can use in this letter so hey uh, what's up just dropping your note so as you can see 1 to 10 these are some of the phrases that you can use in your uh, uh, letter because you are going to write a letter to your relative and then uh, of course before you begin the letter you have to uh, make sure that your uh, letter should you, you should use particular sentence structure in your letter the format the tone and the register keeping in mind all these things so there are four uh, types of sentence structure number one simple compound complex and compound complex sentences and of course at the same time you should include accurate punctuation such as question mark exclamation point semicolon colon uh, brackets try to avoid uh, th these are uh, this is not uh, uh, compulsory but you have to make sure that you are going to uh, connect your paragraphs with the transition words 
so you have to abide by all these rules and now the, our next step would be to highlight the points and their evaluation if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and share to receive more videos like this in the future now we are ready to start our letter and these are as you can see on this slide these are the points responses might use the following ideas these are the points that are picked up from text a and text b uh, from text b uh, you can use them uh, in your letter of course you are going to evaluate these points you have to combine three four points you are not going to copy word to word and the evaluation of uh, these points and uh, keeping in mind the again it is being uh, mentioned here that you are going to uh, you are writing an informal letter so your tone should be uh, appropriate and then this is the possible uh, on this slide you can see the possible evaluation of ideas so it can help you to uh, combine the points and to write a letter with all the tips and techniques and the format and the strategy that we have discussed earlier so uh, go through this these points and the evaluation of ideas and our next step would be to share a model answer with some comments so now here you can uh, read the model letter uh, and it's uh, a sample answer with the uh, proper uh, beginning using the phrases of informal letter for example long time no talk i hope this note finds you in great spirits so guess what happened in the other day i caught wind that your family might be gearing up for a big move can you spill the details i've been itching to hear what's going on with you all so as you can see the beginning it's an informal letter so you you are going to uh, not going to be very formal with the relative and you're going to use such phrases as you are just talking to your relative and and this slide this is the elaboration of the evaluation of uh, other points in paragraph three four five as you can see considering the diverse perspectives and then assessing the moves and then uh, the uh, concerning teenagers success depends on their ability so lastly you are going to uh, wind up uh, your letter Heather, so you move abroad, big stuff. Being bilingual is like having a superpower, you know. It's not just words, it's the secret handshake of culture. So it's uh, uh, you are going to write in such a way that it actually looks like a, an informal letter. It's not a report, it's not a magazine article, it's not a speech. So uh, now uh, the last lines would be uh, one option. But remember, family is the anchor, catch you on the flip side. So the last paragraph, the concluding paragraph might be if there's anything you want to chat about or if you need some advice, uh, a bracket or just a virtual high five, count me in. So as you can see, various punctuation marks are also used like you can see an exclamation mark here. And uh, as we have already discussed in the beginning that we are going to focus on the sentence structure, the simple compound and complex sentences, we are going to focus on punctuation. Uh, as it's a language paper so uh, seriously i'm here for you through all the ups and downs life's a journey and it sounds like you're gearing up for a wild ride with this move can't wait to hear more details and share in the excitement remember that in, in, in an informal letter you are going to use the short forms so uh, these are two options you can uh, either use catch up with you soon take care and catch you soon and your name so this is the sample uh, answer of the letter in the end we are going to discuss some of the uh, mistakes or some of the weaknesses of uh, candidates response and these are the some of the general observations uh, by the examiner as you can see on this slide these are the uh, uh, some of the points an informal letter weaknesses of the response less variety in sentence structure lack of details tone and register less variety in punctuation so you have to uh, address these uh, pr problems these weaknesses and you have to improve your uh, overall impression and your uh, uh, info uh, the the way you are writing the informal letter as you can see the complex and compound are rarely used these are the uh, observations again no variety in terms of punctuation 
points have been addressed but they lack some details some of the points they do need the details uh, more than the other points the given information is not used the tone and register time and again they have been uh, mentioning that you have to follow the tone and register in your directed writing uh, writing question so these are some of the weaknesses in the response the purpose to highlight these points is to ensure that you avoid all the mistakes that can be seen in this response or any other response so uh, i hope you have learned a lot thank you goodbye